So hi guys, this is Earthling645546372 and um, I saw, just saw the Ghostbusters se uh, sequel um, trailer and wow, it wasn't, it doesn't really deserve a wow it, in terms of like amazement, it deserves a wow in terms of I'm kind of happy to see that the last Ghostbusters was not the end of the franchise. Um, maybe like a lot of other people, I grew up on Ghostbusters. I can't say like it was my favorite franchise ever, but you know that song, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I mean, we all know that song. And uh, I did read one of the books, I believe it was. So, yeah. And Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Groundhog Day. I love Bill Murray. So, I, it's great to have. And, and this is something that I was going to leave for later on. If they find a way, I know Bill Murray is supposed to be this enigma. You know, apparently he doesn't even have a phone number for, for people to call him to ask him to be in a movie or something. But, oh my God, if he was in that movie, I would be like, Ugh. that that would be like a mini orgasm for me, honestly. Or even the black guy. You know, if they could get the black guy in there, I think that would be super cool too. And of course, that other guy's dead. And then there's, I can't remember other chubby guy's name. But if they could find any one of the old Ghostbusters to be in the movie, that would be so cool. But anyway, I mean, aside from that point, I'm pretty glad that there is a new Ghostbusters. I'm... What I'm surprised about is, and this is what I was going to do. I wanted to go up and look at the final call, how much money they made on that last Ghostbusters. Because it was supposed to be, you know, this big financial letdown and they lost so much money. And that's why I was surprised to see it. So um, let's take a look and see, because this is what I wanted to hold off on and find out like right now because what tends to happen is there are movies out there where people are like oh it's such a big bust and um you know they lost so much money on this movie and then when you really go take a look at it you know the actual figures um and and this is what i guess you have to know when it comes to uh to a movie whether or not it really is a bust and that is um, anytime you see the budget for a movie basically they usually spend just about as much money advertising the movie as they as on the budget of the movie so basically the movie has to make twice the budget just to break even as far as I know so as long as you see that it's it's breaking even then it's not it's not a complete you know box office bust as they say so that's what i wanted to find out the last one make hey i know i knew that guy's name dan Aykroyd, right dan Aykroyd. yeah if dan Aykroyd is in that that would be really cool i'm having a problem with my eyes oh, stupid dan Aykroyd. i don't want to see your stuff okay come on show me ghostbusters 2016 and let us see how much yeah so the budget was 144 million and it made for the box office 229 whereas it should have made just to break even um about 300 million dollars so that is kind of sucky yeah it's raining unfortunately right now so they lost uh about 60 something million yeah about 60 something million maybe so that's you know that's unfortunate but i'm i'm happy that the franchise is still going 
in spite of that misstep and um, I think part of it is that you know I guess they tried a female movie and I don't think that it was a bad idea I think they just made a maybe not the best movie I think that's that's all that happened so now instead of of women it looks like it's a movie about kids and who doesn't love kids not kid kids like what is it preteens who doesn't love preteens I think that you know it's a good attempt and they move the setting from a big city to outside in the countryside a rural place I think moving the location I think that was a really good idea I don't know what kind of animals or creatures or ghosts they're gonna be in this one they didn't show anything you know if if these were some kind of Native American uh, creatures that might be very interesting I 100% doubt it but um I think like you know some kind of folklore Native American folklore or spirits or something that'd be really cool but I 100% don't think that that's very likely Paul Rudd I love Paul Rudd I think he is funny too I mean he was in and what's going on with um Will Ferrell apparently Paul Rudd used to, was in a couple of Will Ferrell movies and Will Ferrell had his time and I wish it would come back. Unfortunately, that last movie with um, Sherlock Holmes, I think they made a mess of that movie. Let me see how much did Sherlock Holmes made because that one was a legitimate box office bust, if I recall. I laughed a lot at it. It was very stupid, but I like Will Ferrell stupid movies. So that's why, you know, I hope that has not, it seems like it's hurt his career. Um, but I like it anyway. It was very, very stupid. And Holmes and Watson. So what is the box office on this? So this was a stinker. It had a budget of $42 million dollars. And it made 41.9 million. So yeah. I mean at the beginning it was it was kind of stupid because you can't well I'm just saying for, for the average pe person who went to see this movie, right? You can't do it like Will Ferrell normally does it. Because this is Sherlock Holmes after all. But I just kinda like just threw that out of my head altogether. Not altogether, I couldn't. But towards the end, I was it was kind of silly. <laughs> I laughed. I don't I don't know any other way to put it. There were times when I was like, mm, I don't know. This is kind of uh horrible, but then I kind of just what undid my belt, undid my tie and uh I laughed even though it was ridiculous. I saw Fallen and I cannot understand why it's still making money. It's not like I hated it, um, but it was just so formulaic that it was kind of boring. I wonder what happens with the Triple X franchise. I think maybe the, I don't think, I have to check that franchise as well, but we'll see what happens. If they remake the song, that would be really, really cool as well. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's kind of along the lines of Adam Sandler's Wedding Singer, a movie kind of movie for me, even though it's young kids and stuff. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm happy to see that the franchise isn't done. And uh, let me see what Triple X did in terms of uh, franchise. That reminds me, I guess, you know, the Fast and the Furious, that is wow. That is a that is a franchise. Fast and Furious Nine. I mean, Rocky's kind of doing it, but really, who would have we? You know, people used to make jokes about Rocky. It was going to be Rocky Two Hundred or some kind of stuff. Like when Mad Magazine was a thing, it was that joke, that running joke. 
But uh, let's see what Triple X did. If it made enough money to continue, have some anybody care about it? Let's see here. Triple X film series, 2002, 2005, Return of Xander, 2017. I was like, you know, just I was looking at this guy. He was lying down on a on a I don't even know what to call it. Was it a skateboard? like skating down a mountain well not really a mountain just you know and and a decline down a hillside and i was like dude you're like 40 something why are you doing this i'm saying 40 something how old is is what's his name but anyway it's just kind of silly for him to be doing that that's that's silly but anyway let's see what we have here it's announced that a fourth film is in development so i guess they are going with triple x4 okay so they do have a cast i wonder if um what's his name is going to be in this thing death of xander cage anyway finn diesel finn diesel is really kind of crazy but um oh, i forgot my whole purpose of going to find out but obviously, you know, it, it's met my expectations because fact of the matter is that if it did not make a considerable amount of money, there would have been some kind of resistance or a problem to continuing the franchise. So, let's see what we... Okay, so that's... Clearly, that's the reason why they're continuing this franchise. So, the budget was $85 million. And the box office was 346 million. So that is around four times as much money as it cost to make the thing. So it means that they made about 90 something million. No, what am I saying? 90 something. They made about 106, 70 million dollars on this thing which is commendable so all in all i am happy to see another ghostbuster movie and this is kind of long so well yeah i guess there's going to be places where i chop it up in editing so it's not going to be as long as it seems but anyway guys um just excited to see a ghostbuster movies wanted to say something about it and wish me luck. And of course, I spell lux really silly. Like, unlike, yeah, I know it's dislike, but you know, LD, that doesn't work. So L-U-C-S-S. -S. Like, unlike, comment, subscribe, and or share. I appreciate it. Thanks. Peace.